Okay, today I'm going to show you how to add a few extra jacks to your 202. This time we've got CV outputs from the LFO for sine and triangle shapes and a CV output from the envelope generator. Now internally on the 202 you have a modulation for the, the LFO, but this only allows you to add the, the, a triangle LFO shape to the VCF. With this, if you've done the VCF input from last week's post, you'll be able to use the sine wave LFO to affect the VCF as well as, and you can combine them, which is kind of can lead to some kind of unexpected effects. But um, first off, I'm just going to play you a sound. That's with the LFO modulation on the VCF. That's plain. So this is the triangle LFO. And now if I plug this one in to the VCF input, you hear the sign, and then we can combine them. And of course, we can also use the envelope generator to affect the VCF frequency. Let me show you, I'm going to hook up, uh, I've got here the Dupfer A1115 module, and that's basically the dark energy module in, in like a Eurorack format. So I connect up the gate, turn the 202 volume down. We've got the dark energy. Now I can use the outputs from the 202, for example, the sine wave. Connect that up to the filter input. And of course that's the sign. I can do the same with the triangle. And the envelope generator as well. And yeah, if you like I say if you've got if you've been doing the following the tutorials and you've done the other ones, you'll now be able to patch the outputs to the inputs here for the pulse width modulation or for the filter. And uh, you can also do some cross modulation as well. For the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some, uh, get the raw, more raw outputs. I mean, last time I only showed you how to do the triangle output. I'm going to show you how to do the square, the saw and the sub oscillator outputs as well. But that's coming next time. Um, but yeah, for today, that's about it. Um, keep an eye on the blog. It's www.dinsync.info. You'll have schematics for this and all the other ones that I've done so far and a bunch of other videos which, you know, relate to the XOX machines. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.